Well, out there, you, we've got this problem. We're trying to figure out how big the shortage is from a government price ceiling. So a government price ceiling is a high-end limit on how high the price can go. Um, it So drawn graphically here, here's the demand curve, here's the supply curve, equilibrium price is a dollar, government is setting the price at 50 cents. Now it looks a little funky, so here's a trick you can use to uh, think about like a ceiling. Okay, so this is a person right here looking up at a ceiling. Um, can't go any higher, so any higher up, any price up here is illegal. Okay, uh, any price down here is legal. Okay, so I'm going to erase that. All right, so the answer here, we just follow, take the price ceiling out to where it hits the supply curve. This is the quantity supplied. That's the amount of, in this case, bread bread loaves that the bakers are willing to bring to the market or supply to the market. And then bring this over here. Now the consumers want to buy 130. So the answer to this one is 90. Um, just in case, so that's how big the shortage would be. So there would be 40 loaves of bread out there and then... Uh, People would want to buy 130, and so that's how big the shortage would be. Now, just in case you would be asked um, what the deadweight loss is, okay, so this is um, linear. The formula is just one half base times height, and said in economics terms, it's one half the distance between the demand curve and the spot on the supply curve. So it'd be this entire triangle right here so if the government does this this is the amount of damage that we would get in the market okay so how big would that be so we're going to go from two dollars to um to down to 50 cents so that's a buck 50 and then the distance between 40 and 60 is right here so that would be 60 units or 60 loaves of bread so I'm not that slick here so well oh actually I do know that one that one's 90 but I'll just just check there yep 90 and then times one half is 45 so the dead weight loss here is 45 in case you were asked uh, what the this portion of the dead weight loss is from the consumer surplus it would be right here so that portion there, and then the uh, uh, loss to the producer surplus would be down here. If you if you wanted to calc, you could just calc quickly on a test. You could calculate one or the other, and then give you the difference between 45. So we could do that really quick. So that would be just the loss to producer surplus um, would be one half. So there's this bottom triangle here. That would be 50 cents times uh, 60 so that would be 30 I can do that in my head 30 and then half of that is 15 so the area here is 15 and then the difference here has to be whatever the rest is so this hurts the consumers a little bit more than the producers so that's kind of counterintuitive but the shortage is significant here in this market